Good evening, I'm Stephanie Grace. Nine insurance companies that once did business in Louisiana have gone under, and at least a dozen stopped writing homeowners policies in the state. Prices are way up, and about 130,000 families are now insured through citizens, the state-run insurer of last resort. Given all this, what steps would you take as governor to make Louisiana more attractive to insurance companies and to make homeowners insurance more affordable? Because this is such an important topic, I mean, I hear about insurance from everybody, we want to reiterate, what steps would you take to make the state more attractive to insurance companies to come here? We're losing them, Florida's losing them, and to make homeowner insurance more affordable. As we said, we're gonna rotate, so we'll start with uh, Sharon Hewitt. You have one minute. Thank you. Insurance is one of the biggest issues that are affecting our families. I get emails all the time from people who are afraid they're about to lose their homes because they can't afford the insurance. We have two problems in Louisiana, and it's not because we have too many hurricanes. We regulate the industry different than other states, and we are a very litigious state. Those two things contribute greatly to the fact that insurance companies do not want to work here. They do not want to write policies here. I will do several things. First of all, I will have a special session immediately after being sworn in as governor to address this crisis and work with our new insurance commissioner to put forth good sound legislative policy. Some of the things that we need to change, for example, we need to allow insurance companies to operate in a free market and to set their rates. Current law in Louisiana allows the commissioner to establish their rates. That does not allow the insurance companies to manage the risk or to manage their portfolio. Stephen Waggers back. This is the biggest immediate crisis we have in Louisiana. People can no longer afford to live in their home. They're having to make choices between food, medicine, or their insurance. It's unacceptable. A special session will be called when I'm elected. I've already worked with Tim Temple, the incoming insurance commissioner, to put together that agenda. Yes, we have to ensure that the market is competitive, but also we must double down on legal reform, take out some of those frivolous lawsuits so we can put those savings out of one trial lawyer pocket into the savings of homeowners' pockets is where they should be. The other piece is, the adjuster shuffle. How many people have gone through and tried to make a claim and you have to go to one, two, three, four, five different adjusters. It's a delay stall tactic that drives people crazy. It's unacceptable. We're going to create adjuster training academies in each of our coastal universities so we can train our neighbors to be adjusters. So next time a storm hits, people who understand our community can come in and help you process that claim. You won't have to wait for some stranger to the northeast to come in and be someone who understands you and your community that'll speed up claims and make the experience much better for all of us. Thank you. Hunter Luddy, same question. Well, we have companies that left because insurance companies lie. I know personally after the Laura storm on August 27th of 2020 that the adjusters came to Louisiana and they didn't walk into a house with a moisture meter. They wouldn't advance any money. And you ask why? Well, go look at the tax returns. Go look at the payments the CEOs made at the end of 2020. They paid themselves millions of dollars of bonuses because they took the premiums and didn't pay the claims. When you shut the justice system down, that's what happened. And it was shut down during COVID. So we saw a crisis because of Laura, Delta, then Ida. So everybody has to come to the table. Yes, I'm going to call the session in. I'm going to call in insurance companies and they're going to come back. Right now, State Farm's taking the market back because they're getting rid of the ones that didn't they didn't want to have here. So uh, everybody's going to have to speak truth. Everybody's going to have to act truthfully. Everybody's going to have to be come to the table. Yes, we'll we'll do something about the FEMA program. We will fight the, the homeowners program. Thank you. Sean. As I travel the state and talk to residents, North and South Louisiana, individuals are reeling from the cost of insurance. Absolutely, we will have a special session, but more importantly, I'll tell you the type of things that we're going to do. We're going to look at adjuster accountability. We're going to look at transparency. We're going to look at passing laws that will require payments by a certain time to ensure that individuals get what they deserve and that we hold the big insurance companies accountable. The fact that the state bailed them out with $45 million was necessary, but it's not sustainable. We have to go a little bit further than that. We have to pass common sense laws that's going to affect whether or not an individual's driving record or their credit allows the, their premiums to be set. Those are the types of things that I'm going to advocate as governor. We will need someone to hold those big insurance companies accountable, and I'm the only candidate in this race that has over 25 years of working with individuals, whether it's in Congress, in corporate America, or in government at different levels to get things done. 
young. My record stands out in terms of delivering results and putting people first. That's the kind of government I'm going to be, to be here to protect you and to help you survive these types of crises. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. And last but not least, John Schroeder. Look, we're going to have to entrepreneur our way out of this. I have met with the, uh, the new commissioner. Um, I, I believe some of our fixes, we don't know what they are yet. You know, one of the great things about it, being an entrepreneur is you get thinkers, you get problem solvers in a room, and you find solutions. But this is crushing the average family in this state. It's also crushing our small mom and pop businesses that can't afford the insurance. And they're normally 60, 90 days from being out of business anyway. I'm going to call a summit. And in that summit, everybody's going to be at the, at the table from the construction industry, the insurance companies, and the legal community. And I'm, going to, I'm not going to advocate. I'm going to be in that room. I'm going to lead this this change. We've got to work with the commission to come up with so solutions. But at the end of the day, the billboard lawyers are going to have to sit at the table, and you're going to have an opportunity to work with us, and if you don't, then you, we, we're going to fix it one way or the other. But, we, but for the best of Louisiana, we all have to be at the table to address this problem.